Today I'm going to be showing you two different PC builds for two different type of budget and I'm going to explain why to buy one of them depending on your budget. You will have the link to these two PC builds down below in the description as well with gaming PCs that I do recommend buying for every type of budget and I have a video around it that you can go watch in the top right of the screen. Without more to say, let's just start with the video. With the first PC build we have the ultra budget PC build and I made this one for people that want to game now and you're not planning to put a high-end GPU in the future. This is the to put like a GTX 1650 Super when this whole GPU market is back to the normal price. So if you're thinking of putting a high-end GPU in the future, like a 3070, this gaming PC is not for you. So now I'm going to explain the specifications. For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600 g with Giga integrated graphics. And I think these integrated graphics are actually pretty decent and you're going to be able to play games like CSGO, Valorant and Fortnite at 1080p low settings above 60 FPS average. So so if you're planning on doing some light gaming, this CPU is going to be definitely the best budget option. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock P450M Micro ATX, definitely one of the best motherboards in terms of budget and that's why I picked it. For the memory, we have 16 gigs of RAM on dual channel of course, 3200 megahertz. I don't think more is necessary, although the motherboard doesn't support more than 3200 megahertz, but it's not going to make a huge difference in gaming. For the storage, we have a 500 gigs of NVMe SSD, what you can do here is instead of putting the 500 gigs of SSD going for a 2 terabyte of hard drive for around the same price and you're going to have much more storage but it's going to be much slower. And that's why I put the SSD because I think Windows on an SSD is going to perform much better than the hard drive and you can upgrade more storage at any time. For the case we have the Cooler Master, Masterbox NR400. I've seen a lot of great reviews about this case. It's a micro ATX case of course and it has a pretty clean design. And lastly for the power supply we have the EVGA 450 watts power supply because like I said before this gaming PC is not designed for high-end GPUs so in the future I will recommend you to buy a GTX 1650 Super to make this gaming PC much better in performance and you're going to be able to play any single game at 1080p 60fps average when you buy this GPU. But in the meantime the Ryzen 5 5600G is going to be a really good budget option. So this PC build is for the people that want to upgrade with a budget GPU in the future but still want to play some games at 1080p right now. Keep in mind that there is a Preble Gaming PC right now on HP at $550 so it's only around $20 more expensive and you get a much better system for now because you get the RX 5500 and for only $20 extra you get the GTX 1650 Super so for $569 you end up getting a system with a GTX 1650 Super, a Ryzen 3 processor, 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel at 3200 MHz and 256 gigs of SSD so you get less SSD and less RAM but you get a better system overall and I think that if you can't afford it right now in the future you can upgrade the RAM and storage pretty easily. But if you want a PC for right now I would go with this pre-built PC instead of the PC build but that is completely up to you. And for the next PC build we have a really similar PC build actually but it's more upgradable in the future to better GPUs once again not for a 3080 or a 3090 but if you want to put like a 3060 Ti, a 2060 Super or any GPU like that this PC build is going to be for you. It has the Ryzen 5 5600G as well. On this case we have a CPU cooler which is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo which is actually one of the best budget CPU coolers out there. For the motherboard we have the Gigabyte B550 ATX motherboard which is going to support much better speeds for the RAM if you want to upgrade it in the future or overclock it. And for the RAM we have the exact same RAM, two sticks of 8 gigs, 3200 megahertz, CL16 memory is going to be enough. For the storage we get a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD so you end up getting 500 gigs more than the last PC build. And for the case we get the Corsair 4000D Airflow ATX case which is a really good budget case and it's going to be perfect for the airflow. And lastly for the power supply we get a 650 watts gold efficiency power supply which is going to be enough for a future GPU upgrade like I said before to a 1660 Super, 2060 Super, 3060 Ti, any GPU like that is going to support it. But once again here we have another pre from HP that I think is going to be much better for gaming now but if you want future upgradability the PC build is going to be a much better option. If you 
want to game right now, then the HP Pavilion is going to be a much better option for 25 bucks more and has the GTX 1650 Super, the i5 11400, 256 gigs of SSD and 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel. So those two parts need to be upgraded in the future if you want better performance. But if you can't afford it right now, just click on customize and buy and customize it from the website. I actually have a whole review about this PC because I've got it to review it for you guys that you can go and watch in the top right of the screen. But you will have the link to both of HP Pavilions as well down below in the description. So in my conclusion, it all depends on your necessities and what you want to do with these PC builds. If you want future upgradeability for the last one, then don't buy the Preble PC from HP. But if you're searching for a gaming PC that's good for gaming now for a decent price, then go with the HP one. And for the other PC build, I will go with the HP Pavilion because there is not a lot of upgradeability for the PC build, but consider that you're paying 550 bucks and that's actually a really good price for today's market. That was my whole video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content which I do from 3 to 5 times a week. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.